your only alternative. You're listening to Rhythm, Blues, and Interviews. This is Rockin' Rebecca. Uh, if you'd like to call after this interview, the number is 336-316-2444. And now, I would like to introduce Finn Phoenix. Hello, Finn. Hello. Hi. So, I, I uh, just met you. Uh, tell us how old you are, what school you go to, and what grade you, are you in. Well, um, so I am eight years old. I turn nine in July, mm -hmm. and I go to Lindley Elementary School, mm -hmm. in, in, and I'm in third grade. Third grade, so you're getting ready to start fourth grade in the fall. Yep. All right, good for you. Well, we just met at the Solstice Festival. I hadn't met you before then. I hadn't seen you before then. So you play the guitar and the ukulele, is that correct? Uh-huh. Okay, so I saw some videos of you. Uh, you started when you were a kid, didn't you? Yeah, I um, I just like, I'm still a kid, but um, when I was like two years old, I I still was like singing and stuff. Mm -hmm. I saw some videos. Good. Very cute. Yeah, that was very nice. And I'm just I'm just real proud of you. I think that you're doing a great job, and you're getting a lot of play. So thank you. You started. You're welcome. You started in the theater. Tell us about some of the theater that you did. Yeah. So I've been in um. The, my first production was The Wizard of Oz. Um, the um, Carolina Theater put it on. CTG did put it in the Carolina Theater. And um, I just played a, one of the lollipop guilds and a flying monkey. In The Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I um, did after that Hansel and Gretel, the story of Hansel and Gretel in CTG. And I was, um, I was just a gingerbread cookie there. Um, then I did Elf Jr., the musical, and um, there I had the role of Michael. Um, then after that, I did Junie B. Jones, the musical, and I was Herbert in that. Wow. So it sounds like you like acting and comedy and music, right? Yes. Uh -huh. What are some of your hobbies? Well, I like collecting Pokemon cards. Okay. Um... <coughs> Talk into the mic, Penny. I like to um play with my sister and my dogs. Mm -hmm. I like to and I like to um perform at. You can introduce your sister. What's her name? Yeah, so my sister's name is um Shay Lilja. Shay, nice to meet you, Shay. And she um is seven years old. Mm -hmm. And she's in going into second grade, but just finished first grade. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, you created a YouTube channel. I think that's pretty impressive. What was that called? Well, I have two now. Oh, two. Actually, um, mm -hmm. one of them is just called Finn Phoenix, but my first one is called Ukes Up. Okay. And it's just all ukulele. That was before I learned guitar. Okay. But, so, um, you just started the guitar, right? Yeah, uh -huh. in January. Wow. You've come a long ways. If you're playing at farmer's markets and the the Solstice Festival, that's pretty amazing. And when I met you, you had a tip jar full of money. <laughs> and and you were standing there playing in the rain, which was pretty brave. Your guitar was getting a little bit wet. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit wet. Yeah. But well, why don't we start with a song? You wrote an, an original, and what is that called? It's called Life at Lindley. And you go to Lindley Elementary Lin School. Yeah. Okay. I wrote it for the, um, well, my, with my, the help of my dad mm -hmm. and guitar teacher. We all wrote it. Um, for my um, spring talent show, we have this talent show, mm -hmm. um, and then like, so I just played that there, and okay. they loved it. Well, just ignore the construction downstairs, they're hammering, but we won't let that bother us. Just go right ahead, whenever you're ready.
kindergarten mm -hmm. and first grade had a field trip that day but we had two talent shows so like some of the first graders in kindergarten there's like one at night with where the whole family could come and there's mm -hmm. just one in the middle of the school day well so. i bet they're they're so proud of you and the principal and you, you you heard all your all your friends heard it i bet you're just really excited that that could become like the anthem for the whole school <laughs> you know that was really and that's your first original song right yeah yeah, that's just amazing. Well, you're taking ukulele, I'm sorry, ukulele lessons with Brad Reeves, is that correct? Yeah, Brad Reeves, um, yeah, and guitar too. Okay, so when you got that guitar for Christmas, boy, you've learned fast. You're playing some hard chords and you have a capo on there. Boy, I think it probably made you more confident, huh? Now yeah. that you're playing out with the other people and, and getting out there, getting your name yeah. out there. My um, dad and my parents and my guitar teacher really um, help motivate me to um, mm -hmm. keep on doing the performances and stuff. Practicing. Yeah. yeah, and I think that the more you practice, the better you're going to get. And you'll come up with more ideas and things like that. And you you, ch you were chosen for the Blumenthal Performing Arts Open Mic in Charlotte, weren't you? Oh yeah, that, that was, um, I think that was around Christmas too when I... I think I just like just got my guitar, but mm -hmm. I didn't know any chords on it yet, yeah. so I just. I, I see yeah. the confidence. I see that you you really seem very self assured and confident in your in yourself, and not just your playing, but as a person, mm -hmm. you seem pretty confident. Yeah. Okay. And then so we heard the uh, art the life at Lindley, and how do your parents help you? Well, well first of all, what are their names? Oh, so uh, my dad's name is Patrick. Okay. And my mom's name is Hillary. Okay. And how do they help you? Well, like I said before, they motivate me. Right. And they, um, my dad, like, he thinks of ideas kind of just randomly. When we're usually, like, somehow just driving in the car. And then we pull over and he just, and he's just thought of this, like, kind of, like, song. Like, he made, um, something about dead sea monkeys. <laughs> and... We have this um, one that he's gonna that he's like he came up with the idea of when we're trying to like try to write something. It's called Magpie for Mare. Our mm -hmm. dog is um, named Magpie. Okay. And she so we think instead of like 
having her going to like training school because she's not very well behaved. Um, we should just have her run for the mayor of Greensboro. Oh, wow. There's a big job. Yeah, that's a hard job. Well, I know that you played at the Dunley Porch Fest, you played at the Corner Farmers Market, the Greensboro Curb Market, and the Solstice Festival. You're really getting around, and, and uh, maybe we can help you come up with ideas of other places to play. Mm. This is your first radio interview, right? Yes. Good for you, honey. I'm really proud of you. Who do you like to listen to? Oh, yeah. So I like um, the Beatles. Mm -hmm. I like James Taylor. I like Ronnie Millsap. You're talking about people my age, <laughs> old people. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I also like... The Okie Dokie. Oh, yes, the Okie Dokie. Now, brothers. do you think kids can teach grown-ups? Um, yes. Okay, oh, you taught me about the Okie Dokies. Yeah. I've never heard of them, so you turned me on to a new band. Thank you for that. So, how about another song? Sure. Let's, let's do one, uh, one more. Oh, this is one by um, the Okie Dokie Brothers. Okay. It's called The Abominable Yeti. Right. Here it is. music you'd like to get into or is there a goal on the guitar you have well i do want to learn how to do um finger picking mm -hmm. and bar chords because like whenever i try to do it it always seems like not very clear so yeah you have small fingers though yeah. you, you're going to grow into that so yeah um mm -hmm. dave ray cecil he said it's just about the grip pretty much okay so if, as as i get stronger and grow up it'll probably be easier yeah yeah i think so do you know what kind of music you'd like to play? I like folk music. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I pretty much do a lot of folk music. I like um, 60s and 70s. Mm, yeah. Well, I think that you're really, you're going to go far, but And listen to your parents, stay humble, and keep practicing. And you're going to go really far. That's what I think. What do I know? So, thank you for coming in today. If someone wanted to find out more about you, 
Uh, where could they go? Don't give out your family's phone numbers, but no. do you have a website or something uh, like that? Well, um, I have um, on Facebook, just Finn Phoenix, and um. So it's F I N N and mm -hmm. the word Phoenix. Okay. Yes. Okay. Spelled like Phoenix. Right. Like with actual. Phoenix. With two zero one two at the end. Yeah, two zero one two, two thousand twelve. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's when my sister was born. I don't know. No. Oh, okay. Um. And so um. Yeah, also I have an Instagram page, but you probably won't see as much on that as on Facebook. Um, I also am on YouTube, as I said before, on Ukes Up and um, Just Finn mm. Phoenix. All right, well, thank yeah. you for coming, and you're welcome back anytime. You want to come in, you and your dad mm -hmm. and your sister or your mom, and just got to leave the dog at home. Yeah. Okay, and come back and let me know how you're progressing, okay? okay. I, I'd really like to stay in touch and... Uh, we'll go and invited you over to take a look at some how music you never seen a vinyl record or maybe you didn't know what a vinyl record was but I'd like to show you some other things that I have that you know how, how music was played before then from eight tracks to cassettes to 78s to hmm. Edison's back back in the olden days way before my time so so I'd like to show you that if you want to come and see it sometime all right, thank you so much to thank your you. family, and you're listening to your only alternative, WQFS, Greensboro.